Welcome back to Darkfall Ghost Vigil. At the end of the last episode, we got the key to the site office of Harwood Meadows. Using the drone. Well, use the drone to find the information on where to find the key. Unfortunately, the drone did not have a little grabber thing. That would have been cool. Often we've gotten energy readings. They're surprisingly rare ever since the beginning of the game. says the carvings must stay. National Heritage Property, Luxury Student Accommodation. Pub slash bar vibe. Pool and football tables, dartboard, live bands. Stonework could be a problem. Ask Nat H about the symbols or just chip them out. August 1998, Oxford City Council Inspector, 9 a.m. 11 a.m. Roof Engineer, mm, canceled due to bad weather. Brief the new night security. There's definitely someone in the house. At night, do their job. National Heritage, 3 p.m. Most important. Can't proceed without support. 8 p.m. Give tour to the Oxford Student Union. Nearly dark. Take plenty of batteries. We need them to want this. Warn the builders not to talk about ghosts during the site visits. Really not helpful. Be ready for... What's that say? For what weather? The lightning caught the old television aerial yesterday. It's fried. So nasty. Can we not look at the paper? No, we can't look at the paper in the printer. <gasps> Gas mask! I can get to the nursery now. What was that? Well, I guess that's the mask combined with, I don't know, some sort of particulate poison asbestos detector something. And we got this. Printer software update. Oh, we're going to have to actually get the printer working? Is the computer going to work? Crowhurst design and renovation. Damn, it works! Oh, I love this. It's actually like a functioning computer, kinda. Heavily, heavily simplified. 
Uh, well, actually, let's back out and put the disc in. Floppy disk, reading. Pressed a printer icon, did it work? Oh, hell yeah, it did. Skip. Greenhouse condemned. Woods, mixed pine, and deciduous patio. New playground, site office. Open paddock, good views. Site A, excavate. Site B, dump. What am I going to do with this exactly? Like, is this helpful? It's cool to see, but... Just based on a glance at it, I can't think of how it would inform anything I do. I want to see what the other thing is. What's that? The attached file is a scan of the house and surrounding land. I have marked the dumping site as Site B. Print the map, follow the directions, burn this document, and ditch the floppy. Job done. The dumping site. Okay, hold on. There's more to do on this computer. But I want to look at the map again. That's site B. Where exactly is that in relation to the other stuff? Um... Our, uh, I think our van, the van that we have parked, is I think like here or maybe here. It's somewhere along here. So the site B dump is actually near the graves and stuff. Okay, so I think I... Uh, I'm guessing some more of the symbols that have been chipped off might be there, perhaps? Jet has one remaining print job. Print now? Sure. Is it going to be another map or you have another one? Oh. Thanks. Love a printer test page. Print job 101. Check the color bar below. If all looks normal, click done. Other. Run print diagnostics. Select test print code 101, then hit print. That makes me think, like, is there something wrong with this map? It looks fine. I don't need to do printer diagnostics, do I? Let's not print that again. There's nothing in the recycling bin. No connection. Loading saved email. Stuff that's been locally saved. Inbox. To Crowhurst Pete. Pete Crowhurst from National Heritage. Move the damn bodies. We've got inspectors due any day now. A discovery such as this could delay the project for months, if not years. Who will know that the dead moved a few meters? And they certainly won't be too bothered. Just move them and get them covered up. I've chosen a suitable site for relocation. Details on the floppy disk. James Garnet. Gee, I'm sure that won't rile up the spirits here. Already cursed and you move all the fucking bodies? Hmm... So, wait a minute. If that's the relocation sign, that's what's on the map. Am I supposed to dig up bodies? Otherwise, why would it be important for me to know all this? Christ. Deleted items from Pete Crowers to Henry Cuddle. Hi. I'm not sure where to start, but I think your work in Sonic Acoustics could help with the site I'm renovating in Oxfordshire. There is a strong indication that there are vaults and tunnel systems deep beneath the chalk chalk down what the chalk down hills or the chalk down hills i don't know what chalk down means i understand that your university is conducting sonic reverb experiments to map underground spaces i'd be keen to hear more and offer the site as part of your program outbox 
folks from Pete to Barry Guy Associates. It's a bust. National Heritage have stopped all work. They didn't like the alterations we made to the front of the building. Whose bloody idea was that? I certainly didn't authorize historical vandalism. Anyway, gonna need a new job. Tell me about that site in Dorset, the train station. It sounded interesting. Dowerton? Sent from Pete to Garnet, James Garnet. We did not cause the damage to the stone symbols on the pediments or near the windows. I have told you and other site inspectors that there are vandals and salvage thieves operating in the area. I have seen figures, people in parts of the house that have no permission or reason to be here. I have tried to follow the vandals, but they disappear, nowhere to be seen. Please do not stop the Harwood Meadow operation. Oops. Still gotta take a look at the start menu. Printers, inbox, my computer. Oh, that's just all the stuff we have access to on the desktop. Okay. I've already looked at this, right? Yeah, I already looked at that. That was... That's what mentioned where the key is. So, let's take a look at Site B. Site B should just be up here on the right? Right? Like here? Or do they move the... I guess they move the gravestones too, so it'd be all of these. Remember we saw this a while ago, but we couldn't do anything do anything with it. Maybe it's just something we're not supposed to do anything with just yet. But surely at some point. Because they've made such a big deal about it. Oh wait. No, it's here. Yeah, it's in between two cars. Apparently the cars are still there from like 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah, great job relocating the bodies. Very respectful. Jesus Christ. What the hell? It's got a number on it. A gold tooth with a number? Not sure this is really respecting the dead either. <laughs> 585. And it's got a little, like, crown on the crown? Crown on the crown? Is this a crown? Is it a gold tooth or just a gold covering? I think it was a whole tooth. 585, what would that go to? 585, would that be the padlock? Uh, 85 doesn't exist on the padlock, nor does 8. It only goes in... Like 5 or 10 or 15, and I think it maxes out at 35. So I guess it's probably not for the padlock. Hmm. Anything else? Nope. Is there any energies here? You'd think there'd be a lot of energies. Nothing? That's weird. So I know one thing we can do for sure. Um, on the drone, we saw a thing up on the roof that should tell us what to tune the TV to in here. The plaque read OXF666. OXF666.
Oh. I see what this is saying. It's got the colors on it. The colors that we need to press behind us, behind the painting of the Burning Boy. It's got a one, two, and a three, and a four. Is that telling me the order to press them in, or the amount to press them in? Probably the amount. So going clockwise, we start with the green at one, and then go up from there. So one, two, three, four. Um, are the colors in a different order? Let me not do clockwise. Let me actually look at what color is associated with which number. Yellow, bottom left. Yeah, they're not in the same order. Well, let's assume it's not the number of times they need to be pressed, but the order then. Green, yellow, blue, red. Green, yellow, blue, red. Green, yellow, blue, red. Yeah, where the hell are we? Oh, this is the boys' dormitory. I think we got this note, Attic 2 Nurse's Room, a while ago, but couldn't look at it at the time, I think? Attic rooms, the smallest rooms, are the staff rooms. Nothing changed at Harwood House in that respect. Once the servants slept a few hours between service in these pokey rooms, were the nurses ever aware of any ghosts from the past? In many respects, the nurses lived their lives not dissimilar to the children in their care. Working under the ever-watchful eye of Matron would have instilled a particular type of fear. Perhaps these rooms were an escape, but the atmosphere suggests otherwise. Yeah. That's the room we explored when we went into the open window in the uh, in the drone. Not the open window in the office, but the other open window. Boys dormitory. The last young residents probably spent as little time as possible in this cold, stark space. Clanks, bangs and whispered voices have been heard. There is a thick, foreboding atmosphere in this room with some operators reporting hallucinations and blackouts. Yeah, this place scares me. Is that back down? Oh yeah, it was. Bunch of framed pictures or drawings of bugs. Gross. Survive the Flesh Eaters of Horror Manor. Play your own adventure. You're the hero of the adventure. Choose from 12 possible endings. I used to love Choose Your Own Adventure. Books as a kid. Goosebumps, specifically. Love those. There's a voice here. Nightmare Man. That's the name of one of the tapes that we have. We have two tapes and still haven't been able to play them. Sightings. Mm -mm. It's been the most sightings in the kitchen slash canteen. And quite a few in the bathroom. And this is... 
This is who spotted them. Denoted by the colors. <laughs> Lizzie's head. Definitely the there's a voice sound. But I'm not getting anything. Weird. Lenny's egg. <laughs> Lenny, it's okay to admit you're trans. You don't have to be an egg. that? PCLGKTNDWHDC. Probably kids' names? Initials? Books are the key. Don't talk about our code out loud. It will hear you. It will know. No girls. Am I supposed to... Apply this? Like, it looks like it's got cutouts, so I'm assuming that's supposed to go over something, an overlay. Uh, I'm not going to get too much into that because there's probably other things we need to know first. Grindle's Claw, the bear. That's probably going on the board as well. Yeah. Hmm. To 585 is what it says on the tooth. So, not that. sound. Yeah. If it's not a voice, does that just indicate that there's something here? Oh, shit. Books and patterns reveal the code. It's about the first time I've ever actually seen anything with the damn night vision camera. see what it says over here. It's probably the night vision camera up here as well. Yes. Number one, oldest activity, six most recent. Where did the dark fall originate? Where did it start? I'm 
assuming there's some piece of information that we don't have that would help me with this, but it could be that where it's occurred the most is the oldest. Assuming it occurs everywhere equally, you know? But it probably doesn't occur everywhere equally, though. But let's say that's true. Then... Yeah, I didn't think so. Does this go here at all? No. What about this? Books are the key. Maybe those are initials for books. I'm not sure. Maybe I should have the night vision camera on just generally around the room. And it doesn't seem to do anything unless you're like in the scene, like all the way zoomed into it. Because you can't even see anything on the locker from here. Oh, I can't go forwards? I figured I could go to that door, but I can't. Can I really not? Heck, it looks slightly open. Yeah, I can't do anything with it. Okay. Don't know what to do down there. Or up there. Augustine will spend all day in their dorm. In the boys' dormitory, but we can go to the nursery now. Now that we have the gas mask. suppose we can set the okay we can set that there remember we're supposed to set that and some nails and some hair oh god what have we done His guests are arriving. Shall I take him straight through, sir? Let them pass. Who rides with it? To sir, Sir Thomas Wolverton, sir. Oh my god, there's a bird here. Does it bear an insignia or coat of arms? No, sir. It is a march. What the fuck? Is that the parrot we heard in the ghost stories? Ooh, you poor thing. It be Henry Clean, sir. <sighs> Are you in there? 
Yes. Mm, sir, I do not wish to disturb you, but... A lot of stuff is happening here. We are ready in the hall. Ancient Petrospheres. Sir, are you in there? Seems like I can't do anything with the door. It the looks like the rebels, sir. They can prevail, sir. You are invited to behold the dark fall. And the old severn, sir. Oh my God, would people stop talking? Now go. Darkfall Miasma. Go where, sir? Done for the night? But, but the guests, sir. Very well, sir. I will take to my lodgings. If you do not open the door, I shall be forced to call the footman. I thought you just said you're leaving. Both wonderful and strange, a gathering of Oxford's brightest. Very well. Fellows awaits at a secret location. Carriage will wait at your address. That's what all the carriages arriving are. Mole, mole, carp, dog. Oh, they're spirits of animals. Some dates on them. This one says failure. We have this. So I guess this is a spirit jar, but I don't know how to get a soul into it. It's locked from the inside, footman. Many years have flown since I discovered the chasm, but my memories have not faded. No, Ackland. Our lord is downstairs with his guest. Wait, the lord is downstairs? What am I? Am I actually here? It's not just a vision, but like, I'm actually traveling through time back here? Open this door, I will break it down. How am I supposed to read this with all these distractions? This is your last warning. The fate, that fateful foggy afternoon, my fall through the rocks and the findings of something marvelous and strange. I have now built a monument, the very house, to hide my secret from the prying eyes of Oxford. Long has it whispered its plans and promises, seducing me with phantoms, projections, and waking dreams of long forgotten places that seem as real as if I were there. It knows my mind. It knows what I want. There have been others before, from ancient times. From the barbarians of antediluvian times to the Romans. What did it... What did it promise my predecessors? How many men of history know of this power? One more. Damn, I actually did get through. Maybe it'll be more calm now. Sir, the Inform Lord Harwood that his guests are arriving. Shall I take them straight through? I've been offered a chance, an opportunity to succeed and take my rightful place in the cloisters of academia. The others, including Hornsby, will be invited to share my discovery. The dark fall requires a sacrifice from each of my new brothers. The more precious the sacrifice, the greater the reward. Oh my god, that's what this meeting is for, to get all their souls. Oh my god. My experiments continue. There is a soul to all living things. Sir, another carriage approaches. It is food 
a sustenance to the dark fall below. It feeds of unfulfilled life, snatching away the energy that inhabits us all in a perversion of the natural order. The black wisps and miasmas creep through the house, through the walls, the floors, looking for souls to trick and steal. I was able to capture a small miasma, a dense fog of unknowable energy. Looking, hunting, waiting, it whispers a strange tongue, some ancient language. Strange sounds, unknown language, accents and phonetics? Onada? Ma tok? Hmm. The strange sounds, onada, that sounds like what we heard at the piano. The words are strange, like lyrics. I shall record to paper the words as I hear them. Who rides with it? That's all the symbols that we've been seeing around. The Dark Fall will give up its secrets. A secret event is planned. We, my fellow conspirators and I, plan to pluck Oxford's finest from their happy fate and feed them to the Dark Fall. Seven black carriages will be dispatched to bring them here. Sorry, dispatched. On the promise of witnessing a true marvel. I will keep that promise. Sir, are you in there? Looks like I should be able to do something with this, but guests are arriving. Oh, did, is the bird back here? Sorry, buddy. We didn't see this either. To grant a wish from the devil below, make an offering of flesh and blood. Cast a blameless soul into the void. The soul is taken, the flesh destroyed. Read the lyrics, the ancient words, the devil will rise if they are heard. Okay, we've seen this in the safe room. A and B. Oh, there's the black miasma that they captured. This needs like an orb. Oh, orb that. Is that how you get its soul? Fucking hell. Okay, yeah, I guess it loads it up into there. Who's in there? It's locked from the inside, footman. Lord Howard? No, Ackland. Our Lord is downstairs with his guest. Hmm. Open this door, I will break it down. This is your last warning. Stuff is happening, sorta? Is, is it working? I guess I got it. Okay. I don't back, think this is important. We need to leave very soon. Like, now. Did we... We did get to keep the item. Good. So, the doll is supposed to have a soul to help trick them, right? Now what, though? Like, what does that exactly accomplish? What the... It's 
it's not there until we look close? Alright. Oh, it's an item. It's both in my inventory and here? Very confused. It's probably all we can do with it right now. Might want to leave the room before you take the mask off, buddy. Marianne? Patricia? Yeah. Follow me to the library. Mr. Harding is waiting. Yeah, what am I supposed to do with this? I was supposed to put it in the nursery, but I did. It, it, it didn't say what to do with it after. It's to trick... It's to trick the Darkfall. Steal a spirit that's not one of ours. The bird spirit in this case. But, but where would I use it to trick the Darkfall? I have a couple ideas. Um, I got a name tag, so maybe I have enough name tags to put them all up on the board here. I mean, I can always put them up on the board. I'm just not sure if I need, like, every single one of them. This might be important for... Um... It could be important for this. Possibly. I don't know. DC. Darren Coles. PC. Like, does this match people's names? Patrick something, but I think that's a C. It's looking like it does match people's names. LG. L something green? Okay, so that is people's names. I'm not exactly sure what to do with that. Uh, another thing I want to try is this here. See, I don't think that's the right name tag. I'm pretty sure that is. Yes! Thought so. <laughs> oh god, our view shattered. Just like the mirror. an item out of our inventory. We were promised by Howard. Hearing some strange noises back the way we came. Is the orb going to do anything? I think we already got everything out of this we need. Hmm. Thought maybe the kick caretaker would try to stop us from leaving. Phantoms, just vivid imaginations and too much sugar. Just taking a look back here, not exactly sure what I was missing, and I've realized that I've actually missed quite a few things in this room. For example... Yeah, I'm missing a lot, actually. Bear 
Berry Island. Hold on, is that one of the things listed here? Berry Island. No, it's not. But it says books are the key, so I want to take a picture of every book. Intelligent reading for young teens. Does that say nanny? I don't know, that font is horrific. Got a picture of that. Fife Ness, west by north. TV series. Harriet Growmore. Drugs are not cool. Just say no. But what is cool is having your hat so far down your head you can't even see while skateboarding. I also missed this. This looks like a tape player, so now we have a lot of tapes to play, because we already have two on us, and here's a third one. The Horror of Harwood House. There is an old house north of Oxford, where no one dares to tread. It is said that a terrible darkness lingers there, and the whispers of the dead. No birds sing, no animals roam. For all were killed long, long ago. A pact was made with the devil by a foolish and greedy man. Eternal life shall be mine, no matter what the cost. My wife, my son, and five damned souls, all born to join the lost. And so the old man wanders still, the halls and rooms of Harwood. Waiting, watching, for more to come, and join him in his... The ding sounds in between little, like, paragraphs or sentences are suspicious. Do they mean something? Oh. Also... Psypods of the Great Pyramids. Now a thrilling TV series. I was thinking these are the books they're talking about. Oh. Oh, I totally missed the piece of paper inside of it. I'll check that in a second. But now I'm thinking there's tons of these storyteller. I mean, I guess they're not books, though. They're VHSs. But they have numbers on them. One, twenty-seven. They all have numbers on them. Which makes me very suspicious. I can't look at them directly, though. Which is weird. Maybe they do have nothing to do with it. This place wasn't always Shangri-La. It was Harwood House. The bedtime story is true. We have a recording of the dark fall. Just sound. A weird noise. The cassette tape is hidden nearby, in a place watched by many. The code is secret, and can only be worked out by us, the boys. We do not speak about it in case it hears. Daz has made a guide in case any forget. Don't say the code out loud, ever. Clue. The code changes each laundry day. What? The code changes every laundry day. My dude, I don't know what to do with that. What? Is there supposed to be a connection between Laundry Day and books? Anyway, let's play some terrifying stuff. Nightmare Man 84. Classic. Darren. Darren Coles. These days. 
tapes up. Shut up, Nigel. These tapes, the recordings, are our evidence. People will have to listen if we've got proof. Will someone shut him up? Shut up and listen. It's out there. Other side of the door. Shh, listen. Get back. Quiet. Turn that thing off. This is the truth. Ollie was right. He said Edgar gave him the key to the pantry. It's like Edgar wanted him to choke. Can they do that? Can they tempt us to our own deaths? Here's what we heard on the radio. Last night. keep hearing about is the pink door that we heard about somewhere else, the place you're not supposed to go after dark. I don't think we've encountered it yet. All right, what else? What else? Elf. <laughs> what else have I missed? Up here. Nightmare Man by Nigel Danvers, aged six and a half. I'm trying to think if these are important. Like, should I take... Should I put them in my notes? I don't see how they could be important. I've already looked at the beds. We looked at this. Yeah. And I already looked at this bed too, right? Yeah, we picked up something from here. Name stuff down there. All the little... These. Now I think we actually have everything from in here. Okay, so they mentioned, hint, it changes every laundry day, the code. So let's go to the laundry room. I remember there was some piece of paper there that listed, I don't know, a duty roster or something. Damn it, power's out. Off you go, Lizzie. I had to go last time. What's wrong with you? Afraid of the dark? It's creepy down there. In the basement with the spiders? No, no, there's something down there. I hear things, hear the generator. It's just your imagination. Now go and put the power back on. Wasn't expecting to see another memory. Or hear another memory, I guess. Um, I didn't find what I was looking for. However, I was thinking of this in the laundry room. But this is just... Like, who's on duty for the week? Four, five, six, seven. So I guess this is... Uh, hmm. I don't know. Is this relevant? This is for the week. It says it changes with each laundry day. Did they do laundry every day? I doubt it. This doesn't seem to have anything to do with the laundry. Well, I, I think I'm actually going to end this episode here kind of at an awkward point because I need to go eat. However, I do want to leave you with a little thing that I've just discovered. At least I know sort of the start of the puzzle and how it relates to laundry. These, which look like a cutout that would go over the keypad. So I think each hole represents one of the numbers, Like right? Like this is one, empty, three, Four, five, six is empty, seven is empty, eight, nine. Um, the little drawings inside of each bubble represents the bed sheets. For example, look at this one, very distinctive pink, black, and a yellow circle. That is this one pink, black, and a yellow circle. So, hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, 
maybe we can put that all together. <laughs>